Hi, I'm Amanda Snyder I'm from the University of Maryland, Baltimore in the Sponsored Programs Administration Office. And I want to talk to you today about teaming agreements. Um, I'm not sure about your institutions, but we've been seeing a lot more teaming agreements in the last couple years. So basically the, the point of having a teaming agreement is to set a structure for the collaborations that are going on. Typically we see them when a company is the lead on a proposal for a, under a federal RFP. Um, so it sets the, the guidelines, structure, how are things going to be worked out, who's going to do what um, in that process of pulling that proposal together, and then should an award be made, how are the administrative um, parameters going to happen at that point as well. So our PIs as um, in academia are used to working with one another, but it adds a little bit of a twist when you're also working with the company, so that's why these agreements seem to be coming up more and more. Um, one thing to watch out for if you work closely with a PI in a department is to make sure that that teaming agreement gets to your authorized institutional official for their review and signature, because this teaming agreement isn't just um, a, an agreement between the investigators involved, it all, it's actually an agreement that your, your institution is entering into. So you want to make sure um, once it gets to the institutional official, that institutional official needs to make sure that we're not signing up as an institution to do things that we can't deliver on. For example, a lot of the teaming agreements that we've seen have a term that indicates that neither party can enter into another proposal for that same RFP, which isn't something, if, especially if you're a large institution, that's not a commitment you want to make that because one in individual investigator is working with this individual company on this project, that no one else in the institution can all, can submit another proposal. So there, there are some special things to keep an eye out for, but the main takeaway is if you're working with the PI, they get a teaming agreement, make sure it gets to the right people in the, in the office, uh, and make sure that if you are reviewing uh, a teaming agreement that you're looking at the commitments that the institution is making and that these are things that we can live with in the end.